another gunner. Ah, son of a gun. Ah, you got the kitty bay. Ah. Hola, mis compadres. Brian the Bold here, and today we have a new Lego set to do for today, which is Monday. And uh, before I do anything else, might I remind you that you have four days till you have um, to do the contest giveaway. Four days until you can get that minifigure. So sign up today in the comment section below. Give me your email, and you'll be signed up. So for the raffle, whatever the heck you call it. Now it is on to the mini, not the minifigure, but a Lego set, and it is called the. T-16 Skyhopper. I've been actually waiting for this set for a long time. Well, not waiting. Um, getting prepared to get this set a long time. So, I'm really pleased to finally have this in my position. And it does come with a Skyhopper pilot and a Tuscan Raider. Now, the only reason why I got this set was because of the Tuscan Raider. I wanted a Tuscan Raider for so long. And now they finally have a set where it comes with a new version of the Tuscan Raider. Now, this set does come with two minifigures. That's the sad part. And the more sad part is they tried to um, make a the mouse to be like a minifigure. To pull that off. But nope. No, sir. That's not going to happen, obviously. So, um, so technically, if you want to go there, we have three minifigures. Because Lego decided, hey, we have two minifigures. We don't want to spend any more money on that. So, let's go ahead and... And make the mouse a minifigure. Hey, so that's gonna work. So let's go ahead and open this box before I destroy it completely. Uh, there's one thing I enjoy the most, and that's opening boxes. I do. I really do. I'm not saying that sarcastically, but when it comes to this being so difficult, it becomes a challenge. So without the challenge, there would be no fun in anything. So practically, you know. And here we finally open the box, and we have box, not box, but bag number one. Um, oh, the stickers fell out. The manual for this set. Bag number two. Right here, and we have bag number three. Hopefully, yes we do. Bag number three. Right here. So this set comes with three bags. A, um... A manual and stickers you know how I love stickers if my sausage fingers well not sausage they're normally placed but you know how I love these stickers Ugh, awful things whatever you go ahead Lego you keep making these stickers you know how everyone enjoys putting the frickin stickers on the sets instead of you just putting them on whatever let's just go ahead and get on with the time-lapse before you hear me just complain about everything. Okay, so this is the overview, the final product of the T-16 Snow, not Snow Hopper, Land Hopper, or Speeder Hopper, whatever the heck that's called. I keep forgetting what it's named, but here's the side, this side, and that side on the other. I'm going to show you more detailed, um, detailed specs of this in a second, but first let me show you the minifigures. Okay, so these are the minifigures that do come with the set, and they're really nice and really impressive to look at. So, let me light up this thing right here. Of course, I won't leave this on because look how awful it looks. Really awful, I'm sorry, but um, best I have. So, let's start off with the Tuscan Raider. Now, the Tuscan Raider has a very distinct head, obviously. And what I really do enjoy is the new head they added. And the head that um, that I saw originally was just a regular head, like this one right here. Um, this head right here. This regular head right there. But um, now, LEGO just decided to make a new mold of the Tuscan Raider, which I really do appreciate LEGO actually doing this. So, um, overall, he looks really good. Really good in the back as well. So, let me get some sh some um, some light in it. So here's the back of the um, of the Tuscan Raider, and the head uh, it's not plastic nor well it is kind of plastic, but it's not rubber like most of the heads that you see today. Not very rubbery, but very plastic, very very plastic, much toy, 
I don't know what I'm doing. But you can see the details on its um, torso. I think it's called a torso. Right there. Really nice. Really, really nice. I really do enjoy this Tuscan Raider. And before I show you the Skyhopper pilot, let me show you the mouse. Not the mouse tank, but just the mouse. Um, apparent well, this can actually go as both mouse or rat. I don't know, but it does come with a rat for some reason. I don't know why they came with a rat. I, I mean, I could do, I, I could care less if the set didn't come with a rat, but whatever. I'm not Lego. And then here is the Skyhopper pilot. Um, very interesting how they uh, made him look. Um, he kind of reminds me of an A-Wing pilot for some reason. Or a um, snow speeder pilot because of the helmet. And then the A-Wing pilot is because of the body overall. Because I remember them wearing some type of... Um, reddish, whitish, um, junt suit, and so, kind of reminds me of that, and so it has some insignias, right here, some signs, logos, whatever you call them, and then, as for the head goes, it's two-faced, so, uh, if you put him in the ship, you can, um, leave that face right there, and if he's off course, when not on the ship, you can see, um, his face right there, pretty chill, and, do I say scratch mark on that? Oh, that's a shame. Already, he already has a scratch mark. Oh, man. I think it already came like that, so I'm going to go ahead and say it was already like that. So, um, let's hope that it already is like that. So, let's try uh, not, you know, worrying too much about it. So, overall, these minifigures do look nice, oh, but I do think it's a little cheap because it does come with two. And I don't appreciate LEGO trying to pass off a little mouse as a minifigure itself. I feel like it's one of those things that, like... Um, Lego could have done without it, so, you know, I don't know about you, but now let's go on, oh my gosh, now let's go on for the, um, for the entire set itself. Now, this set looks really nice, I really do enjoy it, um, with the overall appearance, although this, I, eh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, so let's just try to close it. I mean, if you try to open one hatchet, it's fine, but when you try to put down that one to try to open the other one, it comes out like that. I mean, I guess that would be good for most people, but for me, nah, not really. You can open the flaps like that, um, like this. It's really nice as well how they put it. The stickers really did throw me off. I did not appreciate LEGO doing that. I mean, like, that's one thing I did not like. I mean, the other stickers, I'm fine with, but them making us put stickers on the windows... For me, that is a little bit unacceptable. It's unpleasing for me to see Lego trying to make people like us put stickers on windows. Well, this, I really did fail because um, if you can see right there, I'm not sure if you can, but there's some spots left right there that was pretty sloppy. I just chose not to try to fix it, which was like really bothersome for me. It's like, why even try? But um, this one right there, this one right here is kind of okay. It went, it overlapped a little bit with the, um, with the screen, but... You can't really complain about that as much. Now, if you open up the flaps, like so, open up like this, you can see the compartment, obviously. And so, um, right here, let me try to shine the light so you guys can see. If I can find the light. Oh, find the light, my minions. Okay, right, here we go. All right, so here's the light right there. Pretty awful, I know, I'm sorry. But it does come inside with this thing right there, as you can see right there. So let me try to take that off and show it to you close up now this one does not come with anything inside it's just a little compartment where you can put stuff in like i guess the gun or the mouse because hey i mean like why else have the mouse there but um close it right there and put it back right there it's, it's no really much of a use besides storage obviously so let's put that right there and plus like it looks a little nice with it inside and then if you flip it right there i'm not sure if you can see it but um I'm trying to turn on the light as you can see right there, hopefully, um, where I'm shining the light, you can see a sticker with the, um, with, as the, as the cockpit, where you can see, you can stick your little minifigure in there, the Skyhopper pilot, um, and that, inside that pot, um, in that little pocket that's supposed to be the thingy. Now, if you close these right there, really nice as well. Now, a little beef with this set is that this thing right here, the gun mantlet, well, I call it the gun mantlet because of what it thinks, but it doesn't move that much. It's stationary. Now, if you notice with the a um, ATDP, it came with the um, optional rotating turret. Well, not turret, but um, gun mantlet, which was really nice for a play feature for little kitties. But 
as you can see right here, it is stationary and you cannot move it, which kind of is bothersome. So maybe um, some modifications to this, find some extra parts, and I'm pretty sure I can fix it right there, where I can just um, put a pivoting or rotating, rotating device where I can just move it around. And then here comes the wings. Um, you just bend down the wings just a tad bit. I'm going to do two clicks. One, two. And then here is the overall uh, thing of a set. As you see in the back, I forgot to show you the back. The back has a really nice piece right there. Um, a purplish thingy. I don't know what they're called, but it's really nice. Try to put it in the back. Uh, like this, it looks really nice. But if you try to bend it like that, it doesn't look as nice as it would. But, you know, if you want to set it up where you can see everything, where instead of having it like this, I mean, I think this is an option where you can actually have it like that. Um, like this, as you can see right here. I guess this would be an option, but, you, like, I don't know why that's a little offset. I guess that's a problem with me, not the set itself, because as I'm seeing right now, I don't know why in the world this is happening. Oh, maybe, be yeah, like, as you can see right there, Oh, okay, I just need to click off one because it can only go up one. It's just a tad bit. So, you know, overall, this set is really nice. Oh, and also the fact that the wingspan right here on the top is very sturdy. Because if I could just move it like this and that, you see it stays in position really well. So, this is really nice to see LEGO actually trying to make their sets a little bit more indestructible and... um less breakable as the other sets because I remember a long time that Lego made sense that would just like break if you just dropped it once because if I if you don't remember from the video I did drop the ATDP from its legs and it did not break entirely it broke in some pieces but it was in big pieces which I really did appreciate it because if it didn't then I would have been absolutely screwed but overall this set is really nice don't enjoy the rat why why the rat I don't know uh, you can ask Lego for that, but overall, I loved it. Really good set. Recommendation? Yes, of course. Buy this set out. It's twenty four ninety seven at Walmart. Um, I really do recommend you go get it, and it's really nice. So thank you everyone for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. Support the Red Garden. This is Brian the Bold signing out. Stay bold out there. E Ciao.